A member's voluntary liquidation is the process whereby members and directors agree to finalise the affairs of a solvent company and distribute its remaining assets to the members. Why a member's voluntary liquidation? There are several reasons why a company may enter a member's voluntary liquidation process. 1. The business or organisation has achieved its purpose and the company is no longer required to conduct business or exist. This is common in circumstances where a business is no longer viable and there is little opportunity for it to continue successfully. It may have also been set up for the purposes of delivering a charitable charter and that charitable charter has achieved its purpose and therefore is no longer required to exist. 2. A company undergoes a sale or transfer of its business and is no longer required to exist for that purpose. 3. A company restructure. The company may be a part of a bigger group of companies and due to a restructure is no longer required for any other purpose. And finally, four, for taxation purposes. There are a number of potential benefits from a member's perspective in relation to dividend distributions and or returns of capital that are accessible to members through the member's voluntary liquidation process including those in relation to pre-CGT asset reserves and the benefits of available franking credits. How long does it typically take to complete the process? The procedure for a company entering a member's voluntary liquidation is contained in the Part 5.5 of the Corporations Act 2001 and involves the following steps. Step 1. A meeting of directors is called. A meeting of directors needs to be called and held at which a resolution that a declaration of solvency be signed and that a general meeting of members be called to consider the resolution that the company be wound up is required to be passed. A declaration of solvency is a declaration made by the directors that confirms that in the director's opinion that the company will be able to pay its debts in full within a period not exceeding 12 months after the commencement of the winding up. Step 2. Lodge declaration of solvency. The declaration of solvency must be lodged before the date on which a notice of meeting of members is sent out. Step 3. Notice to members of meeting sent. Members must ordinarily receive 21 days notice of the proposed members meeting. Commonly, we request consent to short notice be provided to the members. And as long as 95% of members agree, the meeting of members can then be called immediately and the resolutions passed by a circular. Step 4. Meetings of members held. At the meeting of members, the following resolutions will need to be passed by the members. That the company will be wound up. That a liquidator will be appointed. The amount of the liquidator's remuneration. The date when the books and records of the company can be destroyed. These resolutions are all standard resolutions for the purpose of completing the winding up process. Step five. Lodge meeting minutes, including resolutions, advise appointment and call for proofs of debt. Lodge resolutions and advertise on the Australian Securities and Investments Commission Notices website, asking creditors to lodge any claims against the company they may have. Step 6. Administration of appointment. Finalise company accounts and lodge final tax return if they haven't been completed. Request tax clearance from the Australian Taxation Office pay any creditors, distribute any surplus assets and or capital back to the members. Step 7. Finalisation. When the affairs of the company are fully wound up, the liquidator will lodge a final receipts and payments. End of administration return. Step 8. Deregistration. Company is removed from ASIC register three months after lodgement of final receipts and payments by the liquidator. How long does it typically take to complete the process? The process is typically completed within six to nine months of commencement. As registered liquidators, the team at Cathro and Partners have undertaken members' voluntary liquidation engagement, both simple and complex, and are happy to work through you or your client circumstances on an obligation-free basis. Please contact us on admin at cathropartners.com.au.